During the course of this day, you have been caused to humbly accept challenge and face adversity. This you have accomplished with rare good grace. Pointless as some of these challenges may have seemed, they were valid, time-honored reasons behind each pointed bar. It was necessary to meet these hurdles with blind faith in the fellowship of chief pay officers. The goal was to instill in you that trust is inherent with the donning of the uniform of a chief. It was our intent to impress upon you that challenge is good, a great and necessary reality which cannot mar you, which in fact strengthens you. In your future as a chief pay officer, you'll be forced to endure adversity far beyond and imposed upon you today. You must face each challenge and adversity with the same dignity and good grace you demonstrated today. By experience, by performance, and by testing, you have been this day advanced to chief pay officer. In the United States Navy, and only in the United States Navy, the rank of E-7 carries with it unique responsibilities and privileges you are now bound to observe and expect it to fulfill. Your entire way of life has now changed. More will be expected of you. More will be demanded of you. Not because you're an E-7, but because you are now a Chief Pay Officer. You have not merely been promoted one pay grade. You have joined an exclusive fellowship and, as in all fellowships, you have a special responsibility to your comrades, even as they have a special responsibility to you. This is why we in the United States Navy may maintain with pride our feelings of accomplishment once we have attained the position of Chief Pay Officer. Your new responsibilities and privileges do not appear in print. They have no official standing. They cannot be referred to by name, number, nor file. They have existed for over a hundred years. Chiefs before you have freely accepted responsibility beyond the call of printed assignment. Their actions and the performance demanded the respect of their seniors as well as their juniors. It is now required that you be the fountain of wisdom, the ambassador of goodwill, the authority in personal relations as well as in technical applications. Ask the chief is a household phrase in and out of the Navy. You are now the chief. Exalted position you have now achieved, and the word exalted is used advisedly, exists because of the attitude and performance of the chiefs before you. It shall exist only as long as you and your fellow chiefs maintain these standards. It was our intention that you never forget this day. It was our intention that to test you, to try you, and to accept you. Your performance has assured us that you will wear the hat with the same pride as your comrades in arms before you. We take a deep and sincere pleasure in clasping your hand and accepting you as a Chief Pay Officer in the United States Navy. Navy Chief! Navy Price!